morning. What's up? Welcome uh, to Yap. I thought the brief was to get famous people. Bro, I've got the same amount of followers as this guy. <laughs> 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 nah, it's pretty funny content. It's pretty funny content. It's pretty good. Um, right, good morning. What's up? Good morning. Good morning, TikTok. Motherfuckers. What's up? I don't know. What's up with you? Not much. Uh, Sucks, eh? I'm having an almond milk coffee. Why almond milk? There's no Mixma. soy and gluten. <sighs> Fuck, your life sucks, bro. Yeah. It's going <laughs> to suck for the next... 27 years. Yeah. But it's okay because cool things are happening in my life that's outside of whatever yeah, my body's anyway. doing. Fuck. It doesn't matter. My body does weird things too. Like? I fart lots. <laughs> I'm overweight. Sometimes it hurts just to tie my shoelaces up. And you have dry earwax. No. I thought you said you have dry earwax. No, fuck no. You have oh. what <laughs> earwax? Yeah. I don't even have lots of earwax at all. Does Claire have dry earwax? No. We're really? Not, we're not Asian. I thought it was also a white thing. I don't know. There's it's a very um, much an Asian thing. Though. It it's that Asian gene we talked about. Yeah, Asians have. Yeah. I don't. So it also means I... The think. doctor looked at my ears the other day. She's like, wow, you've got really clean ears. There's like nothing in there. That's why I can hear so good. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> do you clean nah. your ears? Oh, I mean in the shower I do. Yeah. I don't clean it to, um, earbuds though. <laughs> Sometimes I do when I'm sick and stuff and there's, you know? Yeah. But no. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, my body does weird things to yeah, you. Yeah, it does. Real sore. Though my ankle's fucked at the moment. It's Why? It's been fucked for like two years. It just, oh, it's so, remember I was telling you. Oh, and oh, <laughs> before he sleeps, he just rolls his ankle roll until he falls ankles. asleep. It's so sore. <laughs> I don't even know what it's from. It's so sore though. That feels so good. <sighs> so yeah, just two peas in a pod. Yeah. <laughs> With the same toxins and same toxins. <laughs> Where's my almond latte? <laughs> I've done. I need. I need to cut almond. It's gonna help my ankle. Oh my or cut God. milk. Um, oh. All right, that's our funny story, is it? <clears throat> um. So word on the street. Word on the street by J P. Someone. J P. Robertson. Robertson. Is, so I'm. I'm assuming he's part of the crew. Like, he's part of that whole. Who's gang, Busky, Judah. Yeah, kind of unofficially. I mean, I saw yeah, him. Yeah, like, like he's yeah. just mates of them, right? Yeah. 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 Like, I was going to say, he seems like he's, yeah, trying to be part of the, the crew. Also, looking back, I noticed he was in in a lot of the videos where, like, was gang's most viral videos where the music video doesn't match the song. Yeah. yeah. I was saying I've seen his face oh, before. Oh, so he has been in them. Yeah. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. I was saying, I, I've seen this guy's face before. Um, He did videos with... um. My man, Orion. Oh, <laughs> Orion's part of the crew now. He's part of the crew? Bro, he went to the TikTok Awards with, with Simeon. He is, and he's changed his thing, eh, to the... the oh, Uso. the fucking Uso or whatever. He thinks he's a content creator. Bro, we made you the content creator. <laughs> well, Jody did. <clears throat> nah, he's a man. Orion's a man. In his last thing, like the ninth... Is Drew and then eight is you, so. No, but we did all the other ones. I know, but it's just <coughs> funny. Like how oh, yeah, we're on, like we're still on his page. I know, it's, it is funny because he's on all their shit now. I'm on his page! There I am. Yeah, isn't that the one he calls you Bruno Mars? Yeah. He throws money at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> With your, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Sidetrack. Okay, so he's one of the boys. That's cool. Um, and his content is his content mostly street interview. It's mostly street interview to do because it's with called word on the street, I suppose. Yeah. To do with money, which I've seen. That's mostly what I've seen. I feel like he has other things. Um. Oh, he's fucking. NZ Dan, that's so good. Where? Did that be a rising queer? <laughs> bro, get NZ Dan in there, bro. He is crack up. 
bro, like, okay, this is not who we're talking about, but NZ Dan. When I went, NZ Dan. I, so I went, okay, let me explain. So I went down like a deep dive, obviously, when I was like trying to find OnlyFans creators to come on the show, right? And, you know, found Jasmine and Thumper Girls and all the different ones that we found. And NZ Dan is an OnlyFans creator. He also does it on Pornhub and stuff anyway. So he's like this, I think he's South African, eh? Yeah. Yeah, South African father. He's literally got a van, a dodgy fucking van that's got like a bed in the back. It's fucking gross. And he just like parks up in the city and he like fucks girls in the back of it. And none of, and like none of his content, like I was watching some of it and none of it's good. Like, like it's bad quality. It's bad angles. He draws on them. <laughs> To like sort of mark his spot sort of thing. Yeah, he writes his username. He on writes them. his username on them. He um, there's one of them where like he's like massaging a girl. There's like a video, and then he goes, and then he goes, "Can we fuck?" <laughs> and she's like, she's like, "Oh, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I'll let me ring my boyfriend." Rings the boyfriend. He's like, "Oh, babe, is it okay? Like, if you do it." And then, then like, and then he's like, "Oh, can we come in here?" And then you just your boyfriend. He said, "Right, he comes." We gotta take it, it offline. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is NZ Dan. He's yeah. one of the most. Wait, which bro, one? Bro, this guy. <laughs> oh my god, it's his van! <laughs> <laughs> bro, so no, no disrespect to NZ Dan. The he's the he's built a career out of just having this like real niche style of OnlyFans creator content. I've got nothing against the dude, but fuck me, like. I don't know how even why do you why do you watch what do you watch it for, right? You watch it to yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't. Yeah, no, it's it's ratchet. It's no one could. Yeah. Oh well, some people too, obviously. He's fucking got heaps of fans. I think it's like a control thing. You know what I think? I think guys yeah. must watch it to be like I think it's also just like a Kiwi, my name. it's also like a Kiwi thing. Like, it's not Kiwi <laughs> it's not I don't know, I don't know. A Kiwi thing. I'm done. Bro, I didn't when I was young, I didn't ride around my van and like pick Maybe yeah, no, but I think it's like. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Actually, no, I was just saying it. And I was thinking, fuck. Me and Matt used to have a high ace, and we like. Oh my god, we that is. It. But we used to have a high ace, and we had. And yeah, yeah, we didn't have sex in it though. Okay, <laughs> you and your right. brother allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> For Bonus, legal sorry. reasons, no. We should get into Dan's dance painting. That would be the fucking. I think it's also funniest. the title. Like, like I heard one of his most viral videos is like. Sleeping with this girl in Hamilton. And it's just like real, like the whole video just like screams Hamilton. It's just oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the girls he gets are like, some of them are like real nasty. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out into Dan. <laughs> no, no, no. He's the man. Like he's got, he's found a star. Like I'm giving him shit, but he's found a star. And he just like went in. Uh, Adele, your job's to get into Dan on the couch. Yeah, it's going to be a <laughs> We're not doing it in his van. That research is going to be tough. Bro, do the podcast in his van. Nah. <laughs> do the podcast in his van. He ends it with going like, so the next part is. <laughs> no, nah, there's no way. There is no way. That's major collab. But you know I'm, how collabs is like one nah, way nah, and the nah, other? Nah. <laughs> I'm going to, um, if we get him on, I'm so going to give him so much shit. I'm just going to be like, bro, come I mean, on. he has to own come it, on. right? He's been doing it for ages now. Years he's been doing it, eh? Yeah. Years and years and years. And he's not got really any pain. <laughs> and he's like, he's loved though. Like every time. No, he's, he's loved. Yeah. He's loved. Yeah. Sorry, Kara. No, every time he's seen in the city, like people are always like, oh, that's the man. But yeah. Okay. Man, so that's not who we're talking about. We're talking about not word on the street. street. Um, all right. I like it. Street interviews. <laughs> We should get him in. I don't know what you like. I'm not. I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> what do I mean? No, I don't like this guy. Word on the street. Uh, He's a good street interviewer. This is ingrained in my brain now. It's people like that that we want for um, Taco Bell. Yeah, that's true. Mm. You should ask him. Yeah, I we mean, should ask him. He's clearly in Auckland. I recognize all all the places that he's in. Oh, yeah, no, he's definitely in Auckland, but he's, I mean, he's one of the boys. In South Auckland. He's in South Auckland a lot, you can tell. Yeah, and in Central, like right on Queen Street. Yep, it's either <laughs> Queen Street in town or down south. Wait, who's this guy? I don't know, but he seems really. interesting. Oh, he's got 300k in two months. 
Wait, wait, wait. You should just at? follow word on the street to find all the greatest <laughs> <laughs> Literally. to talk about. Yeah. Oh, no, he's only at 1,800. What is he talking about? 300K. Is he not a barber? Maybe on, inst- on Instagram? Oh, his Insta following. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, Insta two months. What, did he do like a day one? This is, that's pretty crazy. River the Barber. Holy shit, 587,000. Bro, get this dude on. Half a mil. River the Barber. On Insta. All right, there goes tomorrow's career. Oh, yeah, he knows. He knows um, oh, he already he, knows. He knows, how, he knows how to make content. Like, like if you watch the whole thing. Like yeah. He, he's good content creator. Bro, get that dude on. Get on Stan Spain. He seems cool. He's bigger than Tama. Yeah. Like, he's way bigger than Tama. I mean, not on t- he doesn't. He's got yeah. nothing on TikTok, but Instagram is huge. Um, Street interviews. Yeah, carry on. Aren't, aren't anywhere near done. They will never be done as a content style. No. No. And I think that a lot of brands should do them more. I think where we should think as a team is like, what are the other questions? Do you know what's good about this particularly? Is that you know, um, (coughs) well, we know at least that these are planned, a few of them, a good lot of them. And that's kind of something that I've tried to tell the team is like pre-plan it with people who know they're about to be interviewed so that they're in the mindset to be interviewed. Like this isn't New York where they're just like, hello, and like will say whatever is on their mind like everyone mm. is not thinking to go say something absurd or whatever especially in New Zealand people are just not going to do it but if you prep them into knowing that you're going to be asking something about money and yeah. how maybe how much you earn or whatever it is like that you want to get out of the interview then it's probably going to come out way better it's like doing a talking head but you're next to them right why don't we come up with as a way th- on this, why don't you or, or you and the guys or whatever mm. come up with a list of questions, like just six or something, mm. send them to all the dating boy contestants pre-planned and say to them, hey, you're going to get interviewed when you come in. And then before they walk in in front of the sign, you do interviews. Mm. It just is a way of showing the guys like how do you prep stuff. But also you'll get some funny shit out of those guys because like you'll have some that get some ready and they'll prep for it and then we just take it further. Because right. that's what you want to do, right? Yeah. You're going to prep your guys. You don't just give them the four questions because then they'll be like, well, this is boring. They've had time to think about it. But it's the next lot of questions that you want. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that Friday. Yeah. That's real it's easy. Well, you and I could do it out the front even. It works because I'm planning to do some sponsored content. <coughs> so I'll just you hold one of the sponsored stuff while we do the interview. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <coughs> you could even – like, who's the sponsored? Cheeky. So you could just give them <coughs> – Exactly, yeah. that's what I was saying. Hey, you want a che- yeah. drink? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you could, if you do those really well, you could just put them on the dating void. I mean, the third video that Odd Ones, for instance, put out was just not the actual. It was the thing. only fan. It was just all of them saying their weird talent. Yeah. All the girls. <coughs> Fun. So st- that's the thing with street interviews that we've always messed up is that we've gone up, run up to random people, try to get them to do shit. Or say, say something shit. and you haven't even prepped them or... And they're just not funny. Yeah. Or not good. And they're boring. And most of them don't want to speak. And so most of the time when you do street interviews, it's hard to get good stuff. <coughs> yeah. You have to do like hours and hours of it. Because when you're put on the spot, any good any person put on the spot, you just blank. You have nothing good to say. Yeah. 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 But um, it's funny. I was talking to Sam about yesterday, things not being dead. So the whole thing of like day one of blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, and everyone thinking, oh, like it's over. Like you, we have to go super uh, absurd now because like if we just I have to beat the last person. And I was like, no, like it's kind of come back full circle or g- again where you can simplify it the hell out of it. Oh, you have to simplify because it. Because it's gone so absurd now that the opposite is now doing a simple day one. So just go back to the basics and go day one of whatever it is like the centimeter for every follower thing like yeah don't overcomplicate it don't make it this crazy thing where you're gonna get i don't know filler afterwards or exactly. whatever like um no i agree with you and that's what i like for our strategy i want to talk about like doing them again mm. especially for insta i yeah. want to do it again and just have one that's like um unending 
Yeah. And just keep going. Just row to a million, like on Insta. Just keep going. Just keep yeah. going. Yeah, okay, yeah. we've got two people trying to talk to us right now. Who wants to go first? I'm good, I'm good. Go oh, she's, he's just holding his mouth. Okay, so I have a few questions. <coughs> Don asks, can I get a raise? It's so cold over here in Canada. I'm freezing my toes off fighting moose. <laughs> Was that Don? Yeah. Don, you've had a raise, bro. <laughs> Do you know how much money you get paid now? Bro, that US dollar has gone, like, I'm paying so much more money now for Don. And then his Canada dollar against the US dollar has imp- has worsened. So he gets more money. <laughs> I think he's at about a 12 grand pay rise since he started. Interesting. It won't stay Fun. like that. It's just fluctuation. Yeah, cost, I was going to say he doesn't no, see it right. No, he does see it. That's what I'm saying because I pay him in US dollars, but he lives in Can- Canadian dollars. Oh, uh, and then he so has it to costs me more because US dollar to New Zealand dollars worse. So I have to pay Terrible. more. Terrible, yeah. Because it's a fixed US yeah. dollar cost, right? And then the Canada dollar ratio has gone worse too. So he now gets more Canada dollars because right. US buys more Canada dollars yeah. than it used to. So literally, I like the other day, it was like, I think it was like 12K or something more. Slayed on. Good job. You Don. hacked the system. We can't talk about pay raises though, Don. <laughs> <coughs> Would you hacked the system. Go on. Would you leave a comfortable job pay? Um, all right money for a new job with more earning potential. Wait, sorry, start again in one yeah, it's good go. Written weird. Um, would you leave a comfortable paying job uh, for a new job with more earning potential? <coughs> I would never leave a job for money or go take a job for money. That's the dumbest. Don't chase money in your career. It doesn't, Wait, it doesn't play out. But like, how do you like... Well, so what it's saying is that you get a comfortable job, you're earning some money, but there's no real growth. This next potential job has got similar money or maybe even less money, but there's potential to earn a lot more. All right. And the reason you don't want to move is because this is real comfortable and you're good at it. So probably, yeah, I would because yeah. there's more to that than just money actually. But actually I wouldn't leave it for money because no. if you start chasing money in your career, like it never ends up well because you end up – because like the reason a lot of businesses pay more money is because they suck to work for. <laughs> No, it's true. Yeah. It's like you I can't get any talent. Yeah. yeah, you put a price on it, someone will do it. That's it. Yeah. <coughs> and people will put up with shit jobs if they get paid heaps. It's just what it is. But it doesn't mean you're going to grow or you're going to learn anything. Like, no. Nah. I, I just wouldn't do it. Well, uh, okay. Well, let's go. If money wasn't a thing, what job would you guys do? This. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not a dumb question guy. because yeah. uh, if you asked anyone, like yeah, if it wasn't me, if let's, well, if I was in well, retail and he asked me the same thing, I wouldn't say this like to retail. What would you but do? What would I do? I have no clue. I haven't figured out my life yet. I've yeah, but no but clue. but you know, money's no object. What do you want to do with your life right now? What's your what's what's sitting with you? I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I but it's not this. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, there I you go. I don't know. And this is this. <laughs> Traveling, yeah, this, maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean? So but like, that is a good question because most people young couldn't answer. People in 30s probably are going to say something else that they don't want to do. And then everyone, a few people would be like, actually, I'm doing the thing I want to do. But then it's like subjective, like watching you. Like it's clear you guys love your jobs. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a subjective. It's a you. question. It's a subjective question about okay, people. That's that's meant to be subjective. If it was objective and we all knew the answer, then it's a dumb question. But because it's so diverse, then it's actually a good one. Because not very many people would no, answer this. No. They wouldn't answer the job that they're in. No. There's no way. No. I don't reckon many people in this room, in this business, would say this job. Really? No. Nah. Because money, like, are you kidding? They all ask for pay rises all the time. They all fucking yeah. want, they want to be rich and famous. Did you hear the thing? How much money do you need to be happy? Oh, I need half a million. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting half a million here, bro. You're not getting half a million here. You're like you better be bringing on five million dollars worth of business every year. That's where you'll get half a million. <coughs> um, they will love their job though. Like they love yeah, like yeah, the people yeah, yeah. and the culture and everything. But, but does it, it mean yeah, like that's what I'm getting missed into? Like because like I see if you love your job, why would you want to change? Like if you money, if no. money's not an object, then go oh. dive with fishes or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Are there any New Zealand trans creators? Shit, sure, I don't know. I don't know. Sammy. Sammy who? Crawford, maybe? <laughs> what? She <laughs> said it so <laughs> slow. I don't know. I don't know oh the name. Oh, man, that would be so embarrassing if it was just some girl. And you're like, oh, I think 
I think she's trans. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I don't know her name. Nah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if there is. To be honest. Oh, I d- sorry. I don't know her name. I. It's definitely not what I said. But um, she's lovely. I've. Um, she's goes to a few events. I think. I think she's New Zealand, or maybe she's Australian, and I'm just getting it wrong. <laughs> nah, I couldn't tell you. Wouldn't have a clue. I mean, there is um. They're not really trans, but there's a drag queen period. It's the one that we came and had in the studio. They got oh like yeah, forty, yeah. fifty thousand yeah. followers. Um, what's her name? The the Is character Anita. Oh yeah, Anita Zoom. something. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's a quite a famous drag queen up on um, K Road. Works mm. at the Cabaret, and mm. uh, she's quite big on social. Anita something. Fuck. Yeah, she was going to come on a podcast, and then I Wake? went to New York. Oh uh, no, I don't, know. I don't remember names. I'm so bad with. I I am becoming Connor you. Renzel? But <laughs> <laughs> Next question, have we got any more? Um, Louis said, let me join. I have an audience question. Yeah. So I think you might ask a question. Um, well. And then someone asked, what's the point of you guys? There is no point. <laughs> There's no point. There's no point, There's no point to anything. Who's, is it Lewis Davies? Yes. And he wants to join? Yes. Put him on. Yep. Add him to the live. No, 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 no. Yeah, they have to do oh. it from that one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Add him to live. Add him to live. <laughs> oh, so we're not, oh, I'll put him on my phone too so I can see it. But we <coughs> won't be able to... He- oh, can we hear Louis? I don't know. I can put him on here, though. Did you do it? Is he there? I think we might hear him because he's plugged in. Well, we'll find out. Oh, no. Louis! Is he in? Oh, there he is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. He's in, like, the little corner. Hey! Yeah, we can hear you, bro. Oh, oh hang no, on, hang on. it's echoing. Hang on, hang on, Louis. Um, how do we do this? Hey? Headphones or? Hang on, hang on, Louis. Give us a sec. Wait, should Yo, I you put blue it? T- you need a, no, 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 you need a Bluetooth to this. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, you perfect. Wanna, you the, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Not my wa- earwax in your Okay, Louis, we got this. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, Louis. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's my your Samsung. <laughs> Wait, I could say it loud on my phone over my internet, but I have got a mic over here. Louis, we got feedback because we've got in speakers and it's going around in loops. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> it's going everywhere. Stop, 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 stop. stop. I can put it on my phone over here. It's going everywhere. You can't even see Stanley. Okay. All right, go, Louis. Say it again. Right. Oh, this is good. This is great. This is this good. Is Christian great. Louis. Like for the past week, this is the theme. This is the theme. This is the theme of the office. Okay, turn him off so it doesn't, turn, doesn't, doesn't. Yeah, doesn't turn do. him down. Louis gets it. He, he's with us. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we got heaps of thoughts. Do you want to start? <laughs> it's well. First of all, quantity is still. It's not incorrect. No. Like it's still a valid way, and i wouldn't say like just change for the sake of it that's not it not at all it just depends on where you are you are at at the moment and i feel like we're all probably in this similar thing where we have a better defined 
idea of our content and what messages we want and whatever so that we can move. But I don't, I, I'm going to keep saying like, if you're doing quantity and it's working, like you can continue to do quantity. It's, this is not like a trending thing, like move into lesser nah. videos. Nah, not the case. I agree. I think so, Louis, for your purpose for us, we, we did this experiment where we did 10 a day for, I don't think it's like six weeks we went yeah. hard for. And our point of doing that was a few things, but one of them was to see whether or not we could figure out some new styles for our content, just throw shit at a wall. We just wanted to experiment to see what was right. We didn't quite take the learnings. I think there was just too much happening in the business. There was too much going on. We didn't really learn from our mistakes. And so the content never really got better. Mm. But in saying that, we were still averaging 10 to 12 million views a, a month. Mm. So we were still getting the viewership. But now what we've done is we realize that like, actually that was too many. Well, we always knew it was too many, but it was too <laughs> many. <laughs> four, three or four is probably a better number, but 10 was too many. And we weren't taking the learnings from it. There was mm. almost too much to take the learnings from. So this week, we're pulling right back. We're doing no There's videos. This, this week. entire week, we're doing no videos. And the whole goal this week is to go, let's refocus. Let's figure it out. And actually what we're trying to do is we probably will get back to three to four on TikTok, I think. But what we've seen already is that like TikTok is um, deliberately suppressing our videos when we post too much. Yeah. So I don't know if you're seeing this, uh, Louis, but like we're like on some of our channels, if we put too many out in one day, like some of them just will not go on the For You page. Just Zero. Just zero. Just will not be shown. And so we think TikTok's like stopping it. Instagram's not really doing that or not. They used to. They used and to. And now it's sw swapping and it's weird. <sighs> yeah. So there's that piece. But it also like depends on the behavior of the account, right? Yeah. Like because our like attention seeker account, it doesn't get like suppressed that badly. Wow. Yes. Yes. The views are bad. But like in terms of like suppression, like it's not as drastic as like it it's just not as doesn't drastic. get shown. So. But I also think that when you first put it up, I think it actually is getting suppressed. It's just that we have so many people come to our profile. We're getting a few thousand views just organically from yeah. that. And then that pushes it. Yeah. Because then people share it and save yeah, and yeah, tag yeah. and comment. So I think that's why it gets to yeah. the for you. I uh, don't, I don't think TikTok's the right platform to just do one or two bits a week or a day. Like take a lower volume approach and make it real quality. I just don't think that is the right way. Unless of course, you are a fantastic creator. Like yeah. if you're making really good, solid pieces of content that are real, either like soup, like super fucking skits or uh, really educational or, you know, just like over the top stuff like Mr. B sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. But that's not easy to do. Yeah. It's like between two because like you still have to remember like you're under the algorithm's thumb, right? Like you can make, subjectively like good bad whatever the hell content and then it's up to the algorithm to go push it but don't blame the algorithm for like bad viewership do you get what i'm saying yeah. like there's like you have to teeter like you can't just believe like oh no i can make one good video and it's, it's gonna do well because like the algorithm's gonna take it that's why the quantity helps to just see and test with the algorithm again because you can't you don't know what we think about the algorithm today is was different yesterday and the yeah. day before. So, yeah, I think there's this. Um, yeah, I think you're right, yeah. and I think there's like this pulling. We were talking about this the other day of a client's um, campaign. There's this like always a tension. There's like quantity versus quality. There's always a, and you got to balance that tension. And we tr we pulled it way too far on the quantity side, mm -hmm. and then sometimes people pull it too far on the quality side, and they're not getting enough. And so on the quality side, you don't get community as good because mm -hmm. you don't show up every day for the community. And then on the quantity side, if you do too much, then it's too much for the community to mm. be a part of. And there's a real good um, video essay on YouTube about Marvel at the moment, talking about how Marvel went quantity mm. and it's ruined Marvel's phase six, or whatever they're up to, yeah. phase five, because there's too many TV shows. I haven't even watched the one all you of Loki. You sent me, right? The video? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's too much to do. And so you lose track of it and you can't follow. Yeah. There's so many avenues, right, of what's happening. And it's even like with our newsletter, some people are saying there's too much to keep up with. Can I just have a weekly? Mm. I don't think we'd do that with the newsletter, but there's everyone has a limit to how much content they can consume, actually, which is a thing I didn't used to mm. think. And so 
I think you lose community at the extreme of quantity and you lose ext- the community at the extreme of quality. quality. And so you got to find somewhere in between. What's the maximum number of pieces you can do at the best quality you can to maintain the biggest community, mm. I think is where yeah. we've seen ours drop out. Yeah. I think he, um, oh, he's got a, he's got it pretty good. Yeah, you've got a pretty good split, but yeah. I mean, he does. He's the yeah. he's got the he's the most liked creator in all of New Zealand. Yeah. Um, first one to hit two hundred million, bro. You're the man. But um, yeah, I think I think that I think we're going to end up with three to four. It's we'll see. Probably. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be zero. Yeah. Because we'll just like make it more purposeful each time. Anyway, it's 8.30. Thanks, Lewis. We've got to go. We'll get back things. to you, though, because we're spending the whole week re-strategizing our short-form videos. So we'll, we'll let you know. All right. All right, bro. Bye. See you, bye.